Uh, on this episode of Hoarders, I mean. <laughs> okay, so I'm just kind of getting ready right now to go into um, I can't figure out what to do with my hair. I was going to put my hair up, and then I found this disgusting, like, huge knot. Like, this is so bad, I should just, like, cut it out. Mm. So yeah, I gotta go to BJ's. I gotta get some stuff. The baby just had a doctor appointment. And <laughs> these people just acted like a car was gonna hit them. And it literally was like 40 feet from them. So I need to get some food. Um, we just got her some shots so she's gonna crabby probably she's gonna be crabby but she's tired she's back there yawning um and oh my god i need a haircut so bad hopefully this weekend this is like break the break the brush naughty oh my god oh my ew there it goes I'm gonna go to um, Kohl's and return some stuff today too because like they sent me some things that were not mine, were not the right size or something like around the holidays. Um, Jeez Louise. Um, but I, my husband just called me and told me that I still had whole stuff at home, so I'm not, oh, I'm not gonna go there and return anything just yet. But, oh my god, I need some help with this hair. It is crazy. The baby hairs are, like, insane. And now I feel like it looks worse. Like, I feel like a school marm. Is that even, like, is that, like, a bad thing to say? I don't know. I don't know, but the pediatrician just told me not to use baby powder, as in cornstarch, on baby girls. But you know what you can use cornstarch for? Oh my god, there's so much hair! If anyone ever wanted to clone me? Oh my god, it's like stick sticking to the door. They definitely could. Not that anyone would want to clone me because, like, I have Crohn's disease and crappy, um, crappy immune system and everything. But I used to do this in college all the time. This is before dry shampoo came out. Oh, a little too much. But it kind of, like, absorbs the oil in your hair. Since I don't have like a real mirror, <laughs> I might be going to the Sam's Club or BJ's with some powder on my head, looking like a crazy person. But um, yeah, I didn't realize like like you're not supposed to use powder on baby girls, even though like you know everybody says not to use BB powder, not cornstarch. And like honestly, I use cornstarch on myself, so I guess I should probably stop doing that. Um, I don't even have like a, I need like something to hold my hair back, it's like crazy. If I put it up in a bun, it looks crazy. If I wear it down, it's like naughty. I don't know, I have this beautiful bag that I wanted to get here, I can't see it, this one, here. And it pretty much stays in my car. Um, but I guess I'm gonna go into the store, get some stuff. I really don't want to wear my hair up at all, but I feel like it's just so crazy that like the only thing I can do with it anymore is wear it up. So I'm just gonna try to make it look semi-presentable, which. Honestly, you shouldn't be worrying about. Oh my 
because right now I'm wearing sweatpants because it's like 10 degrees and I have a scrunchie because like my hair just doesn't want to it's like either too tight or too loose I'm like freaking Goldilocks of the hair, hair ties over here and now I look homeless but at this point in time don't really care but I'll tell you what these are Maybe I'll try this lotion. I gotta get out of the car and I just really don't want to. I got this lotion at like Bed Bath & Beyond. It's really nice, actually. Oh, I gotta get out of the car to get this. Okay. Baby girl. All right, honey, we're gonna get out. Mommy's gonna get the car, the car all ready for you. I'm gonna get your blankets and I'm gonna let you go night-night in the car. Cute. She loves taking naps in the shopping carts. My good girl. All right. Of course, I have no. What do you call it? Hairpins. Anywhere. Anyway, see you later. this person that's walking on the side of the Appalachian Trail. I don't know if he's okay. Maybe he's coming from the motel over there. Um, but of course there's like it's like crazy traffic right now because it's um, basically like rush hour. Such is 
like, you know, you never, never listen to your body until it, until it's hungry, right? Um, but maybe I'll do a, like a haul video, like, uh, what I bought on my shopping trip. And then I also need to finish my CBS post so that I can post it. Um, because I got the Pampers Baby Dry, it's, I think it's like the 92 count for, um, size 4. Oh boy, sorry. I got that for like $14, and it was gonna be $4, but I decided I was gonna get, I wanted to get an orchid instead. They had, so I've been wanting to get an orchid for a really long time, so I decided to go for it. I had the extra care rewards for $10, so so I decided to do it, and now I'm almost home, checking it out. We had some snow yesterday, and then some more snow last night. <clears throat> Luckily though, like, my husband did not have to, what do you call it today, plow today? Thank God, there's my friend's husband. Um, anyways, uh, so yeah, I'm going home. Xavier is not going to swim class because I was still at, I was still at the store and I was all the way in Bartonsville and I was not gonna be able to get, I was not gonna be able to get back home and then also get all the way to Bethlehem in time. So I just figured I would cancel it. Um, but baby's sleeping. She had to get shots today. So she slept like the entire time that I was at. <clears throat> PJ is almost the entire time anyway. She woke up when I was in the checkout line. And I feel like she woke up because something was loud or something. Oh. Um, but she was really good and like I said she slept the whole time and I feel like my trick to getting your babies to sleep in, in the um, shopping cart is to lay them down I have this really nice shopping cart cover and then I like wrap her up in blankets and she is out with my son I did that a couple of times but it wasn't like too many times she definitely likes to sleep at the grocery store <laughs> in the um, in the cart, so it, it makes for an easy easy shopping trip when I actually do go to the store. But I'm about to get home, so I'm gonna pull in my driveway, and I will do an update later. Bye. <laughs> this I got I saw these like as I was gonna leave and I thought oh I, I should get those um I got this chicken piccata um to have for like an easy dinner I got these to have again for an easy dinner for an easy dinner I got these Jimmy Dean's things for my cousin and I got that's already in here Oh my god, this thing needs to defrost. I'm gonna put more stuff in here, but I need to put the phone down for a minute. Okay, so something that's great about BJ's is they have the 
peanut and well, it says peanut and tree nut free um thing um because those are hard to find sometimes I got this I showed this upstairs but it looks pretty cool it's chicken and garlic with parmesan and potatoes it's like a sheet pan and I'm trying to do this with one hand so I put this away and I'm going to take peppers and onions and some green peppers I think it's got like a couple packs has like four different packs, so that's really good. And then, so we use those with like the steakums. I got these because they look so good. And I was gonna get like the little um, bites with the steak before I went to the store, but then I was at the store and I thought they looked gross, so I didn't buy them. I got this mandarin orange chicken just to have on hand. Put these over here. This thing was like empty when I went to the store today, so. Um, and I just freeze these, these cookies. I see my Wegmans. And this one. And the vanilla ones. I kind of just buy them Sometimes when you need them, you can buy them. And then if I know, like, my son is going to have some kind of thing for school or whatever, and he can't eat it, um, I will get it myself and bring it. Mm -hmm.